Hi, this is Kathy O'Day. I am the Director of Disaster Response with Lutheran Church Charities. On June 20th, an EF3 tornado struck the towns of Woodridge, Naperville, Downers Grove, and Darien, and did quite a bit of damage, especially Woodridge and Naperville. Um, overall, we've heard there's been 350 homes damaged, 48 destroyed, and lots and lots of tree damage everywhere we go. It sounds like a loud freight train. It was so loud, you couldn't hear anything. There, I, I had some significant damage to the house. My roof got torn off. Every tree got toppled, got broken. It was, it was deafening. And at that point I realized, oh no, this is a tornado. So I was sitting on my family room uh, couch and then when I heard the siren, um, I knew it was time to get to the basement um, and went to grab my cell phone because I realized I needed a phone downstairs. And just as I bent over to pick up the um, phone on the couch, the storm came through the back windows. It threw me about seven feet where I hit my nose on a rocker. Turns out I have a broken nose and um, then a mild, mild concussion. When the phones went off, blaring an emergency, we, my husband grabbed my arm, we jumped out of bed, we're running down to our basement and the tornado was passing us. The first concern everybody had was, is everyone okay? I mean, you see structures and getting people out, but it was, is everyone okay? And I think we were still in shock though. Um, since June 21st, the day after the tornado, we have already assessed uh, 100 homes. We've completed about 48 sites that we're gonna stay here until all the sites are completed. Uh, many of our jobs are lift jobs because the trees that are broken or damaged are so high up in the air or have technical, so we do need our boom lift. And so we contacted the LCMS and we have asked for another team, uh, Shepherd's Heart Ministry, to come in from Alabama. And he came up with another lift and Bobcat to also provide us assistance so we can get twice as many jobs done in a week as we were. I'm Pastor Ed Brazier from the Southern District. I'm up here to help uh, our good friends of the Lutheran Church Charities work in the Northern Illinois District after the tornado came through last month. This deployment, like any deployment, our main focus is sharing the love of Jesus Christ with people who, uh, who are in a bad way, who've had some things happen. And tree work is extremely expensive. So when we come in and we offer to get a tree off of a house or out of their yard, at absolutely no charge, just to show them the love of Jesus, it kind of opens up a door for us to share more if they want to, and we're never forceful. But uh, the very least I will do is say, we're just here to share the love of Christ by doing this. And uh, if there's something we can pray with you about, you know, we're always welcome to do that. We came in, we're asked to come in because we have a, a lift that was provided by LCMS Disaster Response and the Southern District, and that helps us get up and get things that uh, you can't get to unless you've got the right equipment. And so uh, they've got some good equipment up here, but they had some more, more work than they really could get to in a timely manner, so we were glad to come up and help. So one, it was financially, when I look at it, it is a huge help emotionally not to have to go out there and look at at that, they were just hanging all over. They really, they, they touched my heart, they reached out. I understand, um, and they spent hours here asking for, for nothing. Um, I know, I understand that they even helped a neighbor who was struggling with some trees. They all showed up before 10 o'clock, I think, and they worked throughout the day. I think we finished sometime around seven o'clock, and they cut everything down. I was so grateful that they took care of all that for me. Um, I can't tell you, you know, it was like a huge burden was lifted off my shoulders. The fact that they were able to help and able to help so quickly, I'm eternally grateful. I'm, I've never seen such a dedicated group of people who are willing to help somebody in need like that. It was just, I mean, they work their tails off. It means a whole lot to know that uh, you're trying to connect people uh, to Jesus. It's been interesting. They were cleaning out the easement in back of my neighbor's homes, and uh, now they've been working across the street. And 
cutting logs and removing logs and trimming trees, etc. Thank you, and may God bless you who support LCC. Thank you. I, I, we're very grateful. I mean, we had a lot of charities that came in and helped people, but this Lutheran group, amazing. And we're, I feel very blessed. My family's blessed. This, this, other families that were being helped are blessed and truly. When you support Lutheran Church Charities financially, you are supporting a ministry that's nationwide. You've sent people, you have sent people down to help other people who are really needing it, who can't afford to have trees taken off their house, who can't afford probably to have things cleaned up in their yard and gotten to the street, and uh, you made that happen. We want to thank you, the donor, because without your support, uh, we couldn't do what we're doing. Uh, it takes, although we supply the manpower, the volunteers, it takes a lot of donations to supply the fuel and the tools and some of the things that we need to be able to, to do our job in order to serve. So we really sincerely appreciate all the support shown uh, to us.